Hi again, guys. Here's my second um, learning issue. So what are the causes for splenomegaly? Uh, most of my resources here were focused in like um, small, anim small animal emergency texts. Um, I have done that with the feline patient, but there are a couple others that I referenced that I um, took from as well. Uh, but basically, I went ahead and just went for the things that were most re relevant, and then I went with the other causes, possible causes. So um, the one that really stood out was acromegaly, which we already suspect. Um, but basically what's going to happen in that case is you're going to have degeneralized application of your growth hormone, which is going to upregulate your total BMR, but it's also going to increase um, growth in pretty much all areas of the body, which is what we see with the swollen head. Uh, the hepatomegaly and splenomegaly are common symptoms as well, but also you'll see renomegaly too. Um, I have to look back at those rads to see if we've got that as well, but um, it wasn't in the uh, radiologist diagnosis. Um, but other causes, um, you could have a sequestration um, of blood in the spleen. Um, this could happen, I mean, I can't think of a, anything at the moment, but um, I'll talk about it a little bit later on too with IMHA. Um, with the spleen trying to filter all those pieces out from the anemia that's happened. Um, you've lysed all those cells, the spleen's trying to clean it out. Could also have like blockages, um, might be, oh, there you go, there's one. Um, say there's an infarction um, preventing the escape of the blood from the spleen, and then you just pump the spleen full of blood and it just kind of stays there because it can't escape. Um, another one is an ascites, which might happen. Uh, this is the improper accumulation of fluid in the peritoneum. Uh, this can kind of mimic the symptoms that tiger, tiger is seeing. You might see um, if something has an ascites, you might suspect obesity or hepatomegaly or, or splenomegaly. Um, but we've already diagnosed tiger with diabetes mellitus, so this is probably not uh, what we're looking for. Uh, IMHA, like I talked about a minute ago, um, the spleen will be filtering out all those pieces um, of peripheral blood cells. And um, we don't expect this to be a thing because we don't have an anemia. Um, so that's not an issue. Uh, another thing is uh, mast cell disease. Um, it's not uncommon in, in cats, but uh, not really our concern for tiger. Uh, but the spleen, even though mast cell tumors are common on the, on the feet and the skin, um, and it, the spleen is the most common site for visceral mast cell tumors. Um, but we don't have any cut cutaneous manifestations, so it's not something I believe will be a problem for us. Um, other causes could be other neoplasias. You might have a hemangioma um, in the spleen. Um, lymphomas or leukemias, again, with the spleen trying to overwork and filter those things out. But you also might have the progenitors of those cells um, because the spleen's a secondary lymph organ. Uh, and you also might have like a splenic abscess. Um, if there's a systemic infection going on, there might be uh, a longer, um, over a longer period of time, you might have a deposition of white cells and, and pus that accumulates in the spleen. Um, but because we don't have um, huge white cell counts uh, and we don't seem to see any other like signs uh, based on his leukogram of uh, overwhelming inflammation or anything like that, uh, I don't think that's our issue. So I think that the splenomegaly in our case, tiger is most likely caused by what we've suspected as acromegaly. Again, give me a call if you have questions. Um, my number is 317-607-9375. And Rose left the room, so sorry, guys, you can't see her again. Bye.